Now, let's talk about iOS. Together with iPhone, iOS helps you get so much done, whether you're at home or on the move. And the next release, iOS 16, offers new intelligence, sharing, and communication features that are going to enhance so much of what you do with your iPhone. And those come together with an incredible set of new personalization features that will make your experience feel fresh and completely you. Let's get started with the all new lock screen. The lock screen is the first thing you see every time you pick up your iPhone. It's a place where you can check the date and time, look out for key messages, and launch the camera to quickly capture the moment. And it's just as much a place for personalization where so many of you put a photo that makes iPhone uniquely yours. In iOS 16, we're bringing the biggest update ever to the lock screen, completely reimagining how it looks and works ways to make it more personal, beautiful, and helpful than ever. Let me show you. Here's my lock screen. You'll notice the subtle depth effect with my daughters appearing in front of the time. I really love it. Now, if I just press and hold, I can personalize it further. I'll just tap Customize, and now I'm in the editor. Now check this out. I can simply swipe to try out different styles that automatically change the color filter, the background, and the font for the time, all to complement each other. These look really beautiful. So let's go with this one. Now, of course, if I want to change anything, it's easy to dial it in further to get it just the way I want it. All I need to do is tap on any element of the lock screen to start editing. So let's customize the font. I can audition different typefaces and choose from different colors. And I like this color. I'll just adjust the shade a little bit. I think this looks awesome now. Now, I can also make my lock screen more helpful by putting widgets right on the lock screen. So let me move the girls down here and tap in to bring up the widget gallery. And these are really useful for getting information at a glance like upcoming calendar events. So I'll add the temperature, uh, my activity rings, and let's drag in the calendar widget. Now this is great. And what's even better is I'm not limited to just one. Let's create another. I can bring up our brand new wallpaper gallery, which showcases a bunch of options for inspiration. And there are plenty to choose from here. So much room for personalization with millions of combinations. With Photo Shuffle, I can choose a set of photos to shuffle throughout the day. And we also have suggested photos intelligently curated for my personal library, like the best shots of family that look great on the lock screen. Now, this is an awesome one to add to my collection. Now, I've created a bunch of other lock screens, and by simply swiping, I can switch between them. It's amazing the range you can create. Here's weather, which shows live weather conditions, like a downpour and lightning. I just love this animation. Here's a really cool emoji wallpaper and our pride wallpaper. And here's one from our astronomy collection. Watch how it animates fluidly as I swipe into the home screen. So cool. So that's a quick look at the all new lock screen. And for developers, Widget Kit makes it quick and easy to put glanceable information from their app here as well. The new lock screen is so beautiful, we wanted to make sure that you can always enjoy it, even if you get a lot of notifications. Sometimes notifications can cover up your personal photo, so we've rethought how they appear. Notifications now roll in from the bottom of the lock screen as you receive them, and you can choose to hide them throughout the day. Now, sometimes you get a bunch of notifications from an app, like when you're following the score of a basketball game. Well, now there's a better way to keep tabs with something called live activities. Live activities make it easier to stay on top of things that are happening in real time, right from your lock screen. And for developers starting in an update to iOS 16 later this year, they can use the live activities API to create these compact and glanceable experiences. This will make it really easy to follow that NBA game, track the progress of an Uber ride, see how you're doing on your workout, and more. All while letting the other elements on the lock screen shine. One of the most popular activities for many of us is listening to music. 
And now with live activities, the Now Playing controls can expand to a full screen view that celebrates album art while you listen along. So that's the all new lock screen. There are some really powerful ways these updates tie together and build upon what we introduced last year with Focus. Focus has helped people reduce distractions and stay in the moment. And this year, we're taking it further, starting with extending focus to your lock screen. This means your choice of a photo and widgets can all be tied to a particular focus. And now that you can have multiple lock screens, you can match them to the appropriate focus throughout your day. You can have a dedicated one for when you're in a work focus, with widgets showing your upcoming meeting or to-do list. Or with just a swipe, you can activate your personal focus. All of your corresponding notification settings apply, and it extends to your home screen too. So now you can elevate your favorite apps or widgets for keeping up with friends and family. And now, your focus can also carry into the apps themselves with focus filters, which let you filter out distracting content. Let's take Safari, for example. Instead of seeing all of your websites, you can turn on the work focus filter and see only the tabs that relate to work. And you can filter not just tab groups in Safari, but also conversations and messages, accounts and mail, and events and calendar. And for developers, we have a new API so they can help you focus in their apps as well. These updates to focus can help you draw boundaries and find balance throughout all the moments in your life. Now, let's talk about what's in store for messages. Hundreds of millions of people rely on messages every single day. It's integral to how we communicate with the people who matter most. And now we're adding three of the most highly requested features to messages. First, have you ever sent a message only to immediately realize you didn't quite say what you intended? Well, no worries, because now you can edit any message you just sent so embarrassing typos can be a thing of the past. Second, have you ever wished you'd never sent that message at all? Well, good news, now you have undo send, so you can immediately recall a recent misfire. And finally, you can now mark any thread as unread, a perfect tool if you don't have time to respond in the moment and wanna be sure to come back to a message later. These three features are going to make a big difference in how you use messages every single day. Messages makes texting easy and efficient, and it's also a great way to share. Last year, we introduced Shared With You, which takes things like photos, links, and music that your friends share with you in messages, and highlights them right in the app where you'd like to enjoy them later. And for developers, we're really excited to make Shared With You available with a new API. So when someone sends you a funny video, a worthwhile article, or a recipe that you don't have time to check out in the moment, it'll be there waiting for you the next time you open that app. And when it comes to sharing in real time with others, people are loving SharePlay. It's stellar for enjoying shared experiences while connecting over FaceTime, like watching TV shows, listening to music, or breaking a sweat to a synced up workout. So many of your favorite apps are using SharePlay to create shared experiences, like listening to bedtime stories together with better sleep, or playing a rowdy game of heads up, no matter how far apart you are. And this year, we're making it easier to discover all of these awesome SharePlay experiences from within your FaceTime call. With just a tap, you can jump into SharePlay supported apps that you already have on your phone, or discover new experiences that you can share with your friends. And to give you more opportunities to enjoy shared experiences, we're extending SharePlay beyond FaceTime and bringing it to messages. This was the number one request from developers. Now, when you find something you want to share, like a movie on Disney+, Plus, you can kick off SharePlay right there and enjoy it together while chatting in messages. You can watch in sync, and you've got the same instantaneous shared playback controls that make SharePlay magical. So whether you're using SharePlay for your weekly movie night, or marking a message unread so you can respond later, Messages has everything you need to connect with ease. And we're making it that much easier to compose messages with some updates to dictation.